self-employed. Uh, when I when I met um, my my partner, um, who likes to be known as uh, likes to be called Lydia, and um, so we decided to do. We made the time. We decided to do the Camino de Invierno from from Ponferrada together. Um, so that 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 was my first experience outside work because the, the work situation. I've, obviously, I've been all over Spain on the Caminos hundreds of times um, taking, taking videos of each stage on my own um, so we'll come on to that some of my experiences over, over the years and this is my first you know real chance to get out on that Camino so I was quite envious of many people that have, uh, have walked vast distances um, on their own or, 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 or you know with a small group um, it was my turn. And that happened back in that happened back back in um, 2017, um, where I finally got out onto the Camino de Invierno uh, with with Lydia, and you know what what an amazing experience um, that that turned out to be. So it's so many of of us uh, say once we do a, a Camino, uh, we get the bug. You know, we we've got to come back. We get addicted. Definitely. So the many more uh, many more cam caminos are now planned, including obviously Camino Catalan and uh, well, the Camino uh, uh, from, from Braga. Uh, we'll, we'll probably come back to that. You need to. You need to. <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm suspicious, but but you need to. So. Um... Now let's go to the, the main point of, 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 of our talk, please. Uh, first, but before that, what or what is or who is your biggest inspiration on the Camino? Well, uh, for me that's an easy one. Um, it, it's got to be Louise Freyshaw. Because uh, as I was starting to uh, to bring him up, um, it was quite an amazing sight uh, to see him for the first time. So I was on the Portuguese coastal way in um, having a coffee where the albergue is the Agunchero in Morgas. So it's the stage for people that know their Camino from Oya to Bayona uh, and there I was in the morning uh, looking out to sea and along the Camino and I could see Louise Frasier walking towards to, walking towards us and uh, um, behind him there was there was a couple um, in their uh, wheelchairs following him so he arrived first and he sat quite close to me he got out his tablets and he I could see he was opening up his maps uh, of the Camino so that's where I decided to break the ice and we started talking and I'm so pleased to say like Lydia my partner it's turned out to be um, a long-term relationship uh, so much so that, so, so that I actually call Louise male pie, uh, so which he gets very embarrassed in public when, I, when I'm saying, "Dad, Dad, where are you?" Uh, uh, well, the, the other the other name I, I often give him in public is El El Dios de los Caminos Portugueses, but he gets very embarrassed with that as well. <laughs> I, I think he actually secretly like actually quite likes it, because um, so I've got to know. Louise, from that point on, very well, and and his and his partner um, Christine, and so I spent many times with them on the Camino. Um, so he's the inspiration uh, as to why I decided to dedicate so much more of my time uh, promoting the Caminos from from what I've learned from his amazing blog, uh, the Camador Punto S. Uh, and the amazing amount of dedication he's put into all his maps of the, all the Portuguese ways. I like to say that I've 
helped him a tiny little bit with some of the information base of you know places to eat and drink in the Vion and the Graham area, for for example, um, and it's um, you know that the the amount of time that he's dedicated to helping other people because he he's got this a fabulous blog and he's never accepted a single donation even though I said to him because um, I I used to post well I still do I I'm a member of the Camino de Santiago forum uh, which is an English speaking forum uh, we're over 80,000 members over a hundred thousand uh, website visits a month. Yeah, it's a, it's amazing blog, amazing resource, amazing forum. It's often put comments about the Portuguese coastal way. You know, for people that are looking for information, I will say, well, look at Luis and use his maps. They're they're in every format: Google, PDF, Wikilot, whatever format you can download. Each stage with all the information you need is in Luis Fraser's maps. I'm, Mentioned him so many times, helping to promote his blog, and many pilgrims have said to me, "Well, we'd love to make a donation to this guy because you know Louise is retired and you know, obviously has a lot of expenses, you know, maintaining all of this his blog." Um, so I told him that there were many of my fellow pilgrim friends that wanted to give him a donation, but he just then no, it's not oh. necessary. So that's the sort of guy he, he, he is. He's always uh, always w willing to help other people. Uh, and what's so inspirational is that he has created, as far as I'm aware, the only Camino in the world well, that's related to pilgrimage. Because yeah. um, the, the Camino de Santiago, the pilgrimage, I think what we're seeing um, in the last few years a resurrection of interest in, in pilgrimage routes. So not just the Camino de Santiago. Yeah. What's going on in my my country in Scotland and in Great Britain at the moment with um, the British Pilgrimage Trust uh, uh, are doing a lot of work uh, resurrecting the the pilgrimage routes in the UK. Um, and uh, Lu Louise, uh, uh, his, his work. Is so inspirational that he's even got a route, a pilgrimage route, for people with mobility imp impairment. So people like that. That day that I first met him, he told me that it was a German couple that were doing the Camino in their wheelchair. And so he had actually devised the route. And he and he's he has guided um, a lot of people himself. So he's taking time out of his schedule to meet these people uh, including many with m mobility impairments in Porto or wherever else in Portugal they are yeah. and taking them on a Camino from Portugal all the way to Santiago which is incredible um, no, that's amazing, I, amazing. I've actually went along with him um, and seen what he does and I'm exhausted after a couple of hours um, of w w w the the logistics uh, and everything yeah. is amazing, uh, is. but so there is a route. So there is a pilgrimage route on on his log for people in mobility with in mo mobility impairment. Um, there are a few obstacles apparently. Surprise, surprise! Like when you get to Santiago, because uh, you know. Um, say the signage is a bit, a bit uh, rough. A bit well, it's not there. There's no yeah. signage for yeah. a few kilometres and all the Caminos basically. So you think think about that, the the lack of signage. But say the the the, the streets aren't really that friendly for people with mobility impairments either. Yeah, that's a problem. But that's amazing what it does. What it does for 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 the Camino. That's that's really incredible. Uh, so, uh, Mark, um, we are to, for uh, finishing the first part, but we just uh, getting okay. Just continue for 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 another moment. Uh, just a moment, okay? okay?